Friesmühle. That's one of Berlin's techno strongholds. And it had to close in 2020. So what happened? What parties shaped that club? And why was it called School for Berghain? You know what's coming. Let's look at the history of Griesmühle. Founded in 2012, the club next to the canal was perfect for ravers to spend endless ecstatic weekends filled with music and hedonism. The former grain mill, that's Griesmühle in German, was designed to make every visit feel like this new adventure. Inside, you'd find three dark, sweaty dance caves connected by a labyrinth of narrow corridors. The outdoor area offered the ideal sunny playground for party people to explore and to mingle. But obviously, a club stands and falls depending on what music is being played. And Griesmühle's sound was shaped by some of Berlin's most renowned party collectives. Starting off with Cocktail d'Amour. Cocktail d'Amour drew a monthly queer crowd hungry for the city's best Italo disco house and techno. Mother's finest and wax treatment gave home to Berlin's Bass and Break fans. And the Zinuit parties expected huge crowds of young ravers ready to leave their heart and soul on Griesmühle's dance floors. Now that's why more seasoned ravers dubbed Griesmühle the school for Bergheim. Hinting not only at the music, but actually at the intensity of Berlin's most famous nightclub. It's like you went to Griesmühle and you practiced getting in, practiced dancing for hours. And if you have achieved that you are ready. But it's not only dark techno, I know you always think it is. Um, the venue actually bought lots of cultural offerings. They also had a record shop, a flea market, and a ping pong or movie night. But, and now that's the sad but very normal part, clubs are ephemeral places and they're very vulnerable to urban changes. Griesmühle in particular, because it operated on a rental contract and the property actually belonged to a company. In 2020, the contract was terminated, causing hefty protests from everyone, including Berlin's senator for cultural affairs. Despite all those efforts, on February 3rd, Griesmühle hosted its very last cocktail d'amour. I was there. It was wild. And what came after Griesmühle? Offices. A sadly familiar story for Berlin. But one door closes and another one opens, right? And in this case, the door is the former Bärenquell Brewery in Niederschöneweide. And the club is called Revier Südost, which means Southeast. So now an abandoned brewing factory gives the team behind Griesmühle the chance to do what they do best. At this point, we have to add that the club actually closed for several weeks in summer 2021 because of a string of racism accusations. It has committed to changing its staff's training programs and reorganizing security, though. So it's a good time to head down to Revier Südost and check out the improved version of 